What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be looking at DataCamp. Now, if you don't know what DataCamp is, DataCamp is a website where you can go and learn all the skills that you need to become a Python programmer, a data scientist, data analyst, data engineer, really any path that you want to follow, you can learn on this platform. Let's not waste any time. Let's pull it up on my screen and see if DataCamp is really worth it. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through just about everything that you see on this screen. I'm gonna focus on a few different sections a little bit more than others. And then at the very end, I'm gonna give you some pros and cons of this platform and who I think this platform might be for. All right, so right now we are on the My Progress tab and then there's a Bookmarks and Groups tab. And then the interesting ones, the Career Tracks, Skills Tracks, Course, Practice, Projects, Assessments, and Live Events. Now. When I first came here, the very first thing that I was interested in is the careers track. So that is where we're going to start off with. Let's click over to the career tracks. Um, I found it really interesting that there were so many options. Uh, I, I genuinely was surprised that at how many career tracks that they genuinely had. You can filter up here by what skill you're focusing on, but I'm just going to skim through these really quick to kind of highlight some of them. Um, but you can do data scientist with R, data analyst with R, Python programmer. Um, there are some Python specific ones. So if we filtered by Python, all of those would come up. But there's data analyst with Python, data scientist with Python. There is a machine learning scientist with Python, data engineer with Python. Um, and then there's data analyst with SQL Server. And then a bunch of R ones um, that I wasn't particularly interested in. Again, you guys know I like Python a little bit more. So uh, those are the career tracks that you have. And there's a lot more options than I thought there were. So if you want to be a data scientist with R or a data scientist with Python, there are options for that. Or a data analyst with Python, R, or SQL, there are options for that. And you can take those um, paths. Um, and each one are pretty long. I mean, they're like 45 hours, like 75 hours. This one's 77 hours. So some of these tracks are very long, very extensive. If we open up the data analyst with Python track, it actually shows us what courses you're going to be actually be taking. So there's introduction to data science in Python, intermediate Python, uh, there's an assessment, data manipulation with pandas, and so on and so forth. And I think there's about 16 courses, and I'm not going to walk through all of those, but it has a set path that you can take. And then at the end of it, you get a, basically like a certificate saying that you completed the data camp learning path for data analyst with Python. And then at the end, you can share that certificate on places like LinkedIn or maybe even on your resume if that is something that you want to do. Now we are on the skills track, and if we wanted to kind of filter by a single skill, we can do that. If you kind of scroll down, though, you can kind of get a sense of what this does. Um, if you want to learn about importing and cleaning data with R, there are four courses in this skills path, and you can learn that skill through these four courses. Um, and so instead of going down to this courses section down here and actually finding all your own courses and kind of putting them together like we're about to look at in just a little bit, this has them kind of laid out for you. If you want to learn all the Python fundamentals, they're all right here. So you don't have to go search for them yourself. You can just come to the skills path or, or, or skills track and have them all in one place. But I kind of like that they custom curate all of these skills that you may want to learn. And all you have to do is come in here and watch it and kind of work through the course. And then you'll learn that skill. I genuinely do think that is pretty cool. Let's go over to the courses section. Uh, and in this, the courses section is very, you know, customized. You can search any single course that you want to take on their entire platform. You can go and learn it. Obviously, I went and I was like, hey, let me take the introduction to SQL, see what that's like, kind of walk through it. Um, I am in just a second going to pull that up so that you can kind of see the things that I'm working on and how the actual course itself works. The course tab is kind of take whatever you want. You can just really filter by any of these things and it just pulls up all the courses kind of relevant to that topic. And then you can take whatever course you want. There's no path. There's nothing. It's just, you know, if you want to learn Python, here's all the Python things and, you know, whatever you want to take, you can take. I have already started looking at the introduction to SQL. I, you know, I need to go back to the basics, guys. Uh, and I started taking this because I wanted to get a feel for how the platform actually engages and how you engage with the platform and learn the skill. Um, and so I'm going to pull this one up really quick. And then we're going to look at how these courses teach you these skills. So when I open up this course, I'm actually on this exercise and I'm learning how to use select distinct. And so it's going to walk me through that a little bit. 
There's also this query editor window, as well as the query results. And these things down here are actually the tables. So that is how they show you what the tables are. Um, right down below here, there are some instructions and you're gonna actually walk through these things and you're gonna earn points. And so I really wanna earn points. It's kind of this gamification of you get it right, you earn points. If you get it wrong or, or you need hints, you lose points. And so you're just trying to gain a lot of points. It's um, kind of a unique way that I had never done it. And so I think this is a pretty cool way to learn these skills. Let's do this first one really quick so I can show you how it works. It says, get all the unique countries represented in the films table. So we're actually on the films table. We just wanna get the, the distinct countries. So all we're gonna say is select distinct, uh, what's that country from films. And I think this is my SQL. I don't know if I can change that or not. Didn't get that far. Um, and it looks like I got that right. And so I think I got some points. Did it say I got points? Yeah, 35 XP. So I, I earn points just by getting it right. Um, and that's how this basically works. You know, you, you walk through each step, you do what it asks you to do, and you kind of learn by uh, getting asked questions and earning points. Now there is a practice tab and an assessments tab. I didn't think those were super interesting. Uh, you can go look at those yourself if you want to. The other one that I found super interesting was this project section. And so as you could have guessed, this is where there are projects. And what's really neat about this is they kind of walk you through them or some of them do um, and some of them don't. You can get this unguided or guided. In the guided, they literally have a person walking you through the project. And so, you know, you can't really mess it up. They're just gonna walk you through it. Um, I'm gonna show you this one in just a second. I've kind of looked at that one myself, um, but there is a filters project. And in here, it shows you all the different things that you can do projects on. And so there are ones for R, Python, and SQL. I think there's only like one or two for SQL, but there are lots for Python and lots for R. Uh, and there are lots of different topics that you can choose from. And so whatever you want, whatever you want to do a project on, hopefully they might have something like that. I genuinely think this is a really good feature of DataCamp. I think this is probably one of my favorite things uh, on here is if you're looking for projects, they actually have some pretty good ideas. Let's look at this project really quick and I'll kind of show you how they walk you through these projects. This is what you will see when you click on a project. On the right, there is a Jupyter Notebook. On the left, there are these project instructions. Um, if we scroll down, again, it kind of walks you through, it's guided, it walks you through how to do this project. And so it kind of prompts you, here's what you need to do. You need to load in uh, these libraries. Um, you need to read in this data set. Um, I'm obviously not gonna do this project, but it walks you through how to do this entire project. And it looks fairly lengthy, to be fair. And, you know, don't worry if you don't know how to do this stuff, that's okay. Or if you mess up, I'm not saying you don't know how to do it, but if you mess up while you're walking through this project, you know, you make a mistake, that's okay. Um, you can check the project, it will scan your project, automatically detect if something didn't work right, it basically runs it. Um, and if you do it like that, that's okay. If you mess up, you can take a hint and it will tell you what you need to do. It might cost you some of your points, but that's okay. I mean, you, you know, you work through all of those courses to learn those skills and get those points so that you can redeem them later on when you're doing these big projects. I actually think these projects are quite good. Uh, I looked through two or three of them and I was like, these are actually decent projects. Uh, you know, you might use this as kind of a beginner project to put in a portfolio, or you can use this as kind of a template for your own data set that you like. I really do think that this is genuinely a good part of this platform. Now, really quick, in that course that I was working on earlier, I tried to go forward a few lessons, and when I went forward too many lessons, I got this thing basically saying this right here, upgrade your account to continue. Um, and so let's take a look really quick at how much it costs and what you're actually getting uh, for the subscription. So let's say get access and let's see what pulls up. So I can subscribe now and it looks like it's $25 per month. You get access to 340 courses, 10,000 exercises, all that good stuff. Um, $25 a month is honestly not too bad. You can pay for Coursera, which I believe is $40 per month, or you can pay for Udemy where it's like $10 per course. And you know, honestly, $25 is not crazy expensive. Uh, I, I've seen ones that are much more than this. 
and I think that this one is reasonably priced. Now, is it worth your money? We'll talk about that in just a little bit. So now that we've looked at the actual platform, let's talk about some of the pros and cons and if it is worth your $25 per month, as well as talk about who I think this platform might be for. I do have some notes that I'm gonna be reading off of. Let's look first at the pros. The pros of this platform are there are lots of good projects for Python and R, uh, not so much SQL, which are kind of hard to come by, so I'm not super surprised by that. The next pro is I think it's great for beginners who wanna learn syntax. As you saw in that introductory to SQL, it was really kind of babying me through the beginning syntax stuff. So I think that was pretty good. I, I, I do think that'd be good for really beginners. Um, I think there are endless options for courses on SQL, Python, and R. I mean, there were just so many courses. Uh, you can take just about any course you can imagine on any topic. I didn't see anything that I thought was missing. I think that really did have almost everything. The quality of those courses, um, you know, I watched a few of them and some of them I thought were really good. Some of them I thought were not exceptional, but I think it depends on the person who's actually teaching the course, and I'll get to that in just a second. The next pro that I have is it's only $25 per month, which I think is a fairly good deal. I mean, when I was first starting out, $25 was probably too expensive because I was mostly using free resources and then Udemy, um, where I was paying like 10 bucks per course. And so $25 to me back then, would be expensive, still expensive to me now, but I think it's a reasonable price if that's what you're mainly gonna be using. Now let's look at the cons. My first con is that the courses are all done by different people. I don't know if you noticed that when I was going through the data analyst tract, but you know, each course was done by a different person. And so, you know, having that consistency is not gonna probably be there. There may be things that overlap, there may be different teaching styles and teaching patterns. And so I'm not a huge fan of that. I wish that it was just one person teaching it all the way through, although that may be unrealistic. Uh, you know, I watched some of the videos and some instructors I really liked and some I just thought were okay. And I just, I was like, eh, this may not be for me or that that instructor may not be for me. The second con is, you know, you're only learning syntax in some of these and you're not really learning the IDE or the database. Like for SQL, you were only using that query editor window you're not using something like MySQL Workbench or SQL Server Management Studio. You're just using what they have in front of you. And so you can learn the syntax, but you don't really know how to implement that into an actual database. My third con is that some of the courses on the career paths are not really relevant. And that's just my opinion. When I was looking at the data analyst career track with Python, I was kind of surprised at a few of the courses that were in there. I will say that the majority of them looked good, but there were maybe two or even three courses where I was kind of surprised that they were in there. Now, who is this for and is it worth it? And I think those things kind of go hand in hand. It's worth it for some people. It's not gonna be worth it for others. Uh, who this is for, this is for a few different people. First off, it's for beginners who wanna learn syntax. If you don't know Python or SQL at all and you want to use this, this is a perfectly good platform to do so. There are free options, but honestly, this platform does a pretty good job of asking kind of you know good questions that are relevant to the topics and walking you through those things. And so I think it is worth it for that. I also think it is worth it for intermediates who already know what skills they want to learn and this site has them. So if you want to learn Python, this really does have a lot of good resources to learn Python and a lot of good topics to learn Python. As you could see, there was one on data manipulation in pandas, super relevant stuff I do all the time. And so I think that you know, genuinely, if you want to learn that, this would be a good place to do so. The last person is somebody who's either a beginner or intermediate who wants to add projects to their portfolio. Uh, you know, creating projects for a portfolio is not always the easiest thing to do. And this kind of walks you through that and kind of babies you through it. And you can learn along the way. And this is a great, I think, starter project that you can start working on. I don't think these are really advanced. I, I, I you know, I walked through two or three of them and the first one that I had was that COVID-19 one. I think that is beginner to intermediate level. And so I think this is a really good place to start if you're looking for projects. And so for those people, I really do think that the $25 per month is genuinely worth it. I think that you should try it out maybe a month or two and see if you like it. Now, who is this not for? This is not for a beginner or intermediate who does not know what they need to learn. So if you are out there right now and you have no idea what you need to learn, 
I really don't recommend going this route. I think that the career tracks might be helpful, but I think you should get some base knowledge and then you know understand if you wanna focus on Python, if you wanna focus on SQL, and then know what topics within those things you wanna actually learn. Because if you take those career tracks, you may learn things that aren't 100% relevant or you don't really need to know and waste hours of your time kind of doing that. I also don't think this is for somebody who consider them a strong intermediate or advanced at these subjects. I don't think you're gonna get much out of this platform because it really is catered towards beginners and kind of intermediates. But if you know, you're towards the higher end of that spectrum, you're probably not gonna learn a ton from this platform. And so for the people that I mentioned before, I think that data camp could be worth it. I have a link below that will take you to the website that I was just on and you can create a free account and look at all the free stuff that I was just looking at. I hope that this has been helpful. I hope that you now have a better understanding of what data camp is and if it is right for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.